Some say they're out to get you. Others say it's a great way to control that need for speed. But if you think for one minute that you can spot them from a mile away like you're used to, you better think again. Because the Newport News Police Department recently purchased a brand new fleet of police motorcycles that will indeed take you by surprise. That, of course, is if you decide to take your chances and push that pedal to the metal. We got a sneak peek of these new motorcycles earlier this year while at Newport News Vehicle and Equipment Services. And at first glance, these Kawasaki 1400cc Concourse sports bikes are sleek, intimidating, and black as night compared to their white BMW predecessors. But even brand new needed a little tender loving care from our ASE certified technicians in the shop as they upfitted the bikes with plenty of beneficial, cost-saving, and state-of-the-art equipment, including a hands-free radio package and other custom-fitted accessories. But that was then, and this is now. Newport News has been riding motorcycles since 1910. We were one of the first. Uh, maybe not the first, but one of the first. Uh, 1910 to now, it's a, you know, 111 years have gone by and we're still on motors. Uh, we are a leading uh, department in this area for using the most up-to-date uh, modern equipment. Uh, motorcycles is, is one of them. Um, you know, a lot of departments are now looking at our motorcycles, the new Kawasaki's that we have. Um, because it is an effective tool. Besides being a motorcycle, it is a well-built motorcycle. The reason for the transition from our BMWs were maintenance costs. They were really getting expensive. The police motorcycle takes a lot of abuse. So uh, when we test rode these, we knew about the, the Kawasaki Concourse. It has the speed, it has the maneuverability. It has many, many current advantages and safety equipment with it. So the Kawasaki Concourse, a proven bike, uh, and they got us four new ones. And, I'm very grateful. The chief took good care of us, in my opinion, and we're going to make them pay off for him. The slowest I got you was 39 into 25. Which hurry, man? Oh, I'm sorry. Well, there's four of us on motorcycles. We patrol the whole city. We're primarily responsible for speed control, complaints. That's, a, that's primary, but we do a lot of things. Being part of special operations, every time there is a special operation, we're there. to Point Rose is 25 zone because there's no sidewalk and it's very narrow. It has to be that way. That's for the safety of them children that live there. Hello, some driver's license and registration doing 35, you're in a 25. And there's buses that drop them children off at the end of the day. There's buses pick them up in the mornings and people go flying through there and you go around some of them S turns where they're blind turns, you get kids loading up on a bus, you got, uh, you know, what it takes for a disaster right there just waiting to happen. 25 me up here. The Brick Kiln, Kiln Creek area is one of the two enhanced fine zones in Newport News. It's an enhanced fine zone because it's com there are people here that complain constantly. And because of that, they actually have the fines are extremely elevated here. When you see that 35 sign, if you look all the way on top, you see a yellow sign that says speeding, and underneath that it says additional $200 fine. Yeah, you know, it's almost triple the fine. So, you know, you got to be wary of those areas and watch for those areas because there is traffic code that, that covers those particular, those particular zones. And, uh, you know, it's kind of up to me. Uh, I can write the summons for a standard 35 zone. If you're cooperative, you're a gentleman, you, legit, you have a legitimate issue, or I find it easy to believe what you're telling me. You know, if you're cooperative with me, I, I, might, uh, I might work with that. Or if you're not so cooperative and you, you just, you know, maybe you're having a really bad day and you want to put some of it off on me, well, then I have the option of this higher zone uh, fee <laughs> or the code, and it's, uh, it'll get real expensive. But again, it's, and the judges know we do this. You know, I mean, we've talked to the judges about it, and they agree with us. Uh, uh, but I will say this, normally in an area like this, at least half the summonses we write in a complaint area are the people that live in that area. I mean, that's, the, the judges know that too. Our primary job is not writing tickets, so that's, it's, a, it's a part we have to do, but uh, mostly we are out here to ensure safety of pedestrians and, and traffic and uh, keep the speed down in the neighborhood, like Hilton here. 1225 in the area. And uh, I rarely ever stop the same person twice. Uh, most people, like I said, are on their way to work. 
And you know, it's a, it's a busy environment we live in, a, a hustle bustle. And people are on their way to work and, and they're sincerely not, they don't mean to speed. It, it's not malicious or anything. And please, please slow down. It's uh, school's in session. Uh, watch those signs and flashing lights. Uh, we will be at the bus stops and uh, it's a big ticket. It, it's gonna be one of the worst tickets in your life. If we stop you at a bus stop, it's generally for reckless driving. And so you're gonna be going to court over there. So keep in mind, uh, children's safety and uh, be careful out there.